we're continuing our topic of solving equations and in these examples the variable shows up in two places you see here an X on the left side of the equal sign and one on the right to solve this we need to do these steps of algebra that end up with an X all by itself on the left and some number on the right so we need one X not two and I'll show you how we do that I'm going to start this one by adding 11 to each side. Whatever you, whatever you do to one side, you also have to do to the other. And on the left, the minus 11 and the plus 11 cancel each other out. That should make a lot of sense to you. 5x minus 11 plus 11 is just 5x. So cross out the minus 11 and plus 11. The left side of the equation is just 5x. And the right side, 3x plus 9 plus 11, these can combine, the 9 and the 11 there. The right side becomes 3x plus 20, because 9 plus, plus 11 is 20. Now, we still have an x on the left and an x on the right, but watch this. I'm going to get rid of this 3x right here, and I can do that just by subtracting 3x. And I can do that as long as I also do it over here. Whatever you do on the right, you also have to do on the left. Now here's my equal sign, and on the right side, I have 3x plus 20 minus 3x. And it should make sense to you that the 3x and the minus 3x cancel out. So the right side is just 20. On the left, I have 5x minus 3x, and that is 2x. And now you can see that x equals 10. And you can do this last step in your head. If, you, if it's simple like this, you can just see that 2 times what is 20. 2 times 10 is 20. You should know that because you know your multiplication tables. But you could also do the algebra. Divide both sides by 2. And the 2's cancel. And you're left with x all by itself. And 20 divided by 2 is 10. Okay, next example, 6x minus 5 equals 4x minus 11. Again, we have an x on each side, and that's okay. We'll get rid of one of those. Uh, first, I'm going to get rid of this minus 5. I can do that by adding 5. And if I add 5 on the left, I have to add 5 on the right. And I did, I did this plus 5 here just to get rid of that, so those cancel out. And I have 6x equals, and over here I have 4x minus 11 plus 5. Well, minus 11 plus 5 is minus 6. So the right side is now 4x minus 6. Now I'm going to get rid of this 4x, and I'll do that by subtracting 4x, which means I also have to subtract 4x on the other side. Now let's, I'm going to, I'm going to write my equal sign, and let's see what this leaves us with on each side. On the left, 6x minus 4x is 2x. On the right, 4x minus 6 minus 4x. Well, this 4x and the minus 4x cancel out, and I'm just left with minus 6. So 2x is minus 6, or 2x equals negative 6. And then I'll divide both sides by 2, and those 2's cancel out, and I'm left with x equals negative 6 divided by 2, which is negative 3. And example 8, 6 times x minus 5 equals x plus 15. In this one, we have these parentheses right here, which means we need to distribute this 6 first. So let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll continue to solve the problem using the techniques that we're looking at here. So distribute first, 6x minus 3. 30. Remember, this is 6 times x minus 6 times 5 equals x plus 15. Okay, now let's add 30. And I have to do exactly the same thing on each side. And I chose 30. I chose to add 30 because of this minus 30. Those cancel out. And that leaves me with 6x on the left. And then my equal sign, and on the right I have x plus 15 plus 30, which is x plus 
these combine to 45. Now I, I need to get rid of one of these x's and let's get rid of this one. Let's subtract x and of course we have to subtract x from both sides. And on the right the x and the minus x cancel out. Okay so on the right side all I have left is 45. On the left side I have 6x minus x and this is, remember, this x right here is really a 1x. So this is 6x minus 1x, which is 5x. So 5x equals 45. So then divide both sides by 5, and that's because this 5x is 5 times x. That multiplication by 5 gets undone right here by this division by 5. The 5's cancel, and I'm left with x equals 45 divided by 5, which is 9.